want to make and do right to your, your fingertips. fingertips. I'm Fern. And I'm Stephen. And here's what's coming up on today's show. Find out what you can make with some bubble wrap and sticky tape in under a minute. Grab your plastic bottles because in Little Fingertips we'll show you how to make these funky bottle bracelets. And we've got a great idea for a Chamber of Doom party, complete with scary lucky dip and a chest full of treasure. For all the details on the makes, you can replay this programme whenever you feel like it. Look at our website or grab a pen and paper and jot it down straight away. Jump shot. You're dribbling. It's excitement. Sorry. No. Anyway, introducing the fabulous fingertip slam dunk. It's somewhere to keep your waste paper or your socks or just practice your shots. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice shot. Michael Jordan, eat your heart out. I don't think he'll be too worried, Stephen. Now, look, will you stop shooting me hoops and make me one instead? Because the first thing you have to do is get a coat hanger and bend it into a hoop shape. There you go, Stephen. Right. And you may want to get some help when you do this. You also need lots of this stuff, parcel wrapping ribbon and some beads with a really nice wide hole. Once you've chosen the beads that you want, you need to get your hoop back. There you go. That's very quick, Stephen. Thank you. And you want to put it at a comfortable working height. So let's just... Attach that with some sticky tape onto here. And then you want to get 20 one metre lengths of parcel ribbon and tie them onto your hoop. Just like that. Now, for the backboard, you need a large bit of cardboard and you need to get a perfect semicircle. And here's a cool way of getting it. So you use a piece of string to one end, you tie a pencil, and then you measure about half the width of your cardboard. And to the other end, you tie a knot, and through that, you put a drawing pin. Stick the drawing pin into the cardboard, and then just draw, and you get a perfect semicircle. Then you cut this out and paint it any colour you want. We I've gone for yellow. And I've started on the basket. What you need to do is take two separate pieces of parcel ribbon and then get one of your beads with a nice wide hole and thread it on like that. Then push the bead right the way up to the top until you get a little triangle like that. And just keep going around and around and around and around. I think you get the picture. You just have to keep going around until you're happy with the length. And then when you are, you need to go around one more time, but this time without beads, just using knots instead so the beads don't fall off. Now, you could actually make your whole basket using knots and using no beads at all, but beads make it look a lot nicer, it's easier and it's quicker. And to connect it to your backboard, all you do is straighten out the hook of your coat hanger and push it through the bottom part of your backboard, and again, you might want to get a bit of help with this, tape it in place, and there you have it. And as you can see with our one, we've customised it in true fingertip style. Now, if you'd like to store stuff in your basket, get an extra piece of parcel ribbon and just tie a knot in the bottom like that. But if you want to start practising your shots, get some scissors and trim off all the excess at the bottom and leave it open. Then you're ready to start shooting some hoops. No, you don't. Come on then, Mulhern. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> Got a minute? Because this is the part of the programme where we show you how to make something in under one minute using odds and ends from around your house. Today, it is my turn to make. And it's my turn to tie. And this is all I need. <gasps> I love that yes, stuff. It's this, lovely. This is it. And trust me, you are going to make this. It's fantastic. Now, we're not going to tell you what it is just yet, but see if you can guess along the way. Magic Mulhern, are you ready? Have you flexed <laughs> your fingers? Yes. Good. Three, two, one. Go! Okie oh, dokie. First thing I need to do is just fold this over there like that and fold this over. Does it annoy you if I just do like that? that? Well, it does when it gets that close to my face. Oh. Uh, <laughs> the hardest thing about Ten this Ten seconds make, gone. The hardest thing about this make is finding some bubble wrap that hasn't already been popped. Right, then I take another 17 bit. 17 seconds. And I put another bit just here, like this. And again, just fold this around. 23 then seconds, Stephen. Get my scissors. And make a snip there. Make a snip there. Coming up for 
30, halfway through. Snip there. Lovely job. Stop the clock. 36 seconds, very good, Stephen. But I think that lot out there and me need a bit more convincing not just to get some of this stuff and... <sighs> pop it. <laughs> this is brilliant. This is a fingertips cushion. Now, it may not look very colourful yet, but if you get some stuffing like this cotton wool and place it into your cushion like this, you'll see just how fantastic this looks. Just stick loads of it in there. And the great thing is, because of the overlap in your cushion, your stuffing will always stay put. Let's just put one more handful in and just check this out. Look, when I turn it over, look how comfy that looks. It's crazy, That's isn't it? <laughs> yeah. So why don't you make your fingertip cushions as colourful as you can? You could use maybe cuttings from magazines, also balloons, and even feathers. Ah, how comfy is this? And you can always have lots of fun with the offcuts. It only takes a minute, so why don't you give it a go and try and beat the clock? Let's put that there. What do you think? A beautiful bracelet that snakes up my arm and looks like it's made of gold. And would you believe this beautiful bracelet is made from one of these? A plastic bottle. Well, this is Little Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you how to make something, recycling stuff, you'd probably find from around your house. And the reasons we've used a bottle is because when you cut it... Let's just finish cutting out this shape here. The curve of the bottle makes the band keep its spiral shape, and that's why it grips to your arm. And if you don't want to make the snake bracelet, check out these. A gladiator wristband with cool jewels. Simple shapes are really effective on this geometric armlet. Or go for an Egyptian look with this sequined armband. And this interlocking spiral looks really glamorous, complete with jewels. Now, if you'd like to make my favourite, the snake armband, you need to draw a snake shape onto your plastic bottle. Now, you could draw it on straight away, but it is quite difficult to draw on a curved surface. So here's a fingertips top tip. Get a piece of A4 paper and cut it in half long ways. Then stick the two ends together like that, so you have a nice long strip. And then draw on a snake about two centimetres wide with a tail at one end and a snake's head at the other end. So let's just finish drawing on your snake. And then cut this shape out. And you want to snake your template around the bottle. So stick the head at the top of the bottle and just wind it all the way around like this until the tail meets the bottom of the bottle. And then just stick that into place just there. Then you need to draw around your snake template in black marker pen and using a sharp pencil, make a starter hole and cut it out. And cover it in some gold paper. Now we can get decorating our snake. First of all, you could add a little tongue made from a piece of red ribbon. Just stick that underneath there. And some eyes made out of sequins. A small blob of glue on each side of your snake's head and just stick those on to there. You could add some scales onto your snake's body and even some extra jewels. And there it is. There's your little snake bracelet. Now, how about this for an even easier bracelet, an embossed Aztec design? First of all, cut out an Aztec bracelet shape. And using a blunt pencil, you want to just draw on any patterns you like. And look, an instant embossed effect. So keep going around till you've covered the whole thing in nice patterns. And then stick your piece of tin foil and card around a plastic bottle. And then cut this out. And there you have one embossed Aztec bracelet. Now, if you have internet access, how about checking out our Fingertips website? Just click on Little and you'll find all of our designs. We'll give you the address at the end of the show. And nobody will believe that your beautiful bracelet was made from a plastic bottle. Hack through the jungle. Brave cobwebs. Struggle with skeletons. To find the keeper of the key. It's a great lucky dip game filled with yucky stuff and snakes. And it'll make a great centrepiece for... Your fingertips Chamber of Doom party. So if you're having a birthday party, why not decorate your room with cobwebs? These are just made from string dipped in PVA glue and then painted when dry. 
And you could make vines by tying tissue paper leaves onto string. And you could add paper snakes. And check these out. They're bugs made from plastic pots decorated with sweet wrapper wings and pipe cleaner legs. And will your intrepid friends be able to stomach the food offered to them? Like sausage fingers with pepper nails and wrinkly knuckles. And what about eyeball cakes with red root icing or spider cakes with licorice legs? Check out the pear rats and snake sandwiches. And what better than a chocolate temple cake covered in green icing leaves? Get your friends to dress in hats, khaki explorer gear, and they could even have skipping rope whips. And if your friend should dare to venture near the Keeper of the Key Monument... Will they be brave enough to delve their hands through the snakes and the yucky stomach uh, <coughs> and pull out the key that matches the one on the chest to then reveal the hidden treasure? Your party guests won't be able to resist the challenge, so try making the Keeper of the Key lucky dip. Now, for the base of the make, you want to get your fingertips on a box with a lid, and you may be lucky enough to find a shoe box big enough. Now, you need to find a yogurt pot which is big enough to fit your wrist into, and then you want to draw around your yogurt pot onto one of the long sides of your box, right the way around the rim, like that. Now, you need to just cut this circle out, just slightly smaller than the one you've just drawn. There we go. And don't worry about this slit here because you're going to cover over that in just a bit. Now, you need to very carefully cut off the base of your yogurt pot, like that so it's got a hole right the way through it then push that into your box just there and get some sticky tape and stick it into place so it's nice and secure and I'm just going to do a few bits but you want to go all the way around the rim of your yogurt pot and then put it back on its base pop the lid back on top and secure this in place too and now to make the keepers of the monument. Now, what you need to do is get a selection of milk bottles. We've got a larger six-pint milk bottle, also two two-pints and two smaller one-pints. And take your shoebox... There you go, Steve. Thank you. And turn it upside down, because you want to make a few holes near the middle of the base, like that. And this will allow you to make a few snips. So, one there and one there. And then just one above and one below. And then take the neck of your big milk bottle and just push it in and it will stay in place just like that. It's good, isn't it? And then you just arrange the other milk bottles around this one, making holes in the same way. And again with the smaller bottles. Looks great already, doesn't it? Now, it's a good idea to stick your milk bottles together with sticky tapes. They all stay in place. And then you want to fill in the gaps where the handles are, just to make a nice nose shape. And then for the eyes, get a piece of kitchen roll, scrunch it into a ball, and dip it into some PVA glue and water so it gets nice and soggy. Then squeeze out the excess like that. It will be a bit messy, but good fun. And then you just want to push your eye just into there. Now you want to cover the whole thing in kitchen roll and PVA glue and water and the kitchen roll will give it a nice crumpled stone effect. You want to cover the whole thing and once you have you can leave it to dry overnight and then it'll be ready to paint. And we've gone for a nice sandy stone colour. Now you can add some details like some paper vine leaves on they go, some creepy crawlies and some tempting jewels as forgotten treasure. And now it's time to add the gruesome goodies into your container. Now, first of all, how about some plastic insects? Mm. Yep, in they go. And you can also add some balloons filled with water. And they feel particularly horrid when you don't know what they are. So let's pop those in too. And how about this? Look, some snakes around the outside of your hole so that as your friends enter the lucky dip, they'll have to touch the slimy snakes. Now, amongst all of that nastiness, you also need to put your keys inside. Now, these are just pieces of cardboard with different symbols on the front. And you need to make a double of one of them, and the spare one can be stuck to the front of your chest. Now, the great thing is your chest can be made out of anything or any box you've got lying around the house. But the design for this one is on our website. Then pop the rest of your keys into the monument and push them right into all the dark corners. Oh. It's such a cool thing, and if you want to try and make one, then why don't you check out the Fingertips website? As always, address at the end of today's show. Just click on Party, and all the information you need will be at your fingertips. And if you have a pen and paper handy right now, we'll go over it again. 
a hole in the side of a shoebox big enough to slot in a bottomless yoghurt pot. Get hold of five milk cartons and starting with the biggest in the middle, slot them into the top of your shoebox base. Fill the gaps behind the milk bottle handles and add eyes. Paper mache in one layer using kitchen towel. Paint it and add extra detail. Fill the base with yucky stuff and snakes at the opening. Hide your keys inside, making sure that one key matches the front of your treasure chest. It does look cool, doesn't it? And here's a good idea. How about making a hole in the back of your monument where you can grab the hand of your unsuspecting hero? So see which one of you makes is a scaredy cat and which one's a hero with your very own Chamber of Doom party. Uh, it was awful, you know. But you can let go of my hand. I just told him about the game. Uh, it's not my hand. Well, that's it for today's show. If you want to make anything from the programme, then why don't you check out the Fingertips website? The address is just there. And we'll see you soon for some more Fingertips. Fingertips. See ya. Bye. Bye.